We are going to go ahead and review Komodo Antivirus Advanced. I am at the web page where you can download it and I will post the link on the description of this video below so you can go to the page and download it. We're going to go ahead and review uh, this one here, Komodo Antivirus Advanced 6. Uh, they do have Komodo Internet Security which has a little bit more features for internet security but for this uh, review we're going to go ahead and take a look at the antivirus edition. Just go ahead and click on the free 30 day trial here link and you should be able to download and install the trial. Once you download and install the program this is what it looks like here. Now it's yellow right now because it wants me to update it. It won't let you update it in, until you actually buy the program. But right now it's got the latest definitions. And when we, when we take a look at it um, it's really easy to use. Actually you can just grab what I like about this particular antivirus you can grab um, you can grab a program or some or a folder that you want to scan and you could just drag and drop it right here and it'll scan it which which is really which is a really really cool feature when you try to do that on a different antivirus uh, you gotta actually go through a lot of workarounds to do it with this antivirus program you could just drag and drop what you want to scan in there let's say you download something off the internet and you don't trust it you could just grab it and, and uh, drag and drop it in here and that should do it. And if you want to minimize a scan, it's going to it's going to go to what's called the minimize task. For example, I'm going, to, I'm going to click OK, and it just minimized it, and it's scanning over here on the side. All right, the scan finished. Of course, it didn't find no threats. That's just a word file, but that's one of the the that's one of the the signature um, features on Komodo is to be able to drop drop files into the drag and drop section here. Now when we take a look at the scan section, when you click on scan, you can either do a quick scan, which does it right away. It just tries to find a, a virus that's running, currently running or uh, is an immediate threat. A full scan will do a full system scan. Usually it'll find Trojans if you have any because those like to hide. So I recommend you always do a full scan. A quick scan is what I like to call a cheap scan. You know, it's cheap, it doesn't find much, but a full scan will. And you can also do a rating scan that will scan all the processes and the memory memory where uh, viruses love to hide and of course you can also do a custom scan where you can uh, do a folder file or other scan options which you'll have the ability to scan uh, external hard drives or USB drives that way alright now what's really cool about Komodo it has something called a virtual kiosk when you click on it it'll open up a virtual environment where you can run any program go on the internet and it'll be inside Komodo so it's like um, running something inside a firewall so if you happen to catch a virus or try to catch a virus in kiosk mode uh, Komodo will eliminate it immediately it'll protect you so it's so if you want to go on the internet and let's say you're gonna download a torrent or something that's suspicious you can go ahead and open up the kiosk and open it from there the kiosk is opening right now and here it is you can actually play Angry Birds here, go on YouTube, Google Maps, Hotmail, Google Calendar, Google Play. You can do everything here. And um, we're just going to go ahead and open up YouTube just to try this out. And it'll take a while. The Kiosk is a little slow. You can also click on here to do a touchscreen keyboard in case you don't trust this particular uh, website and you don't want them to capture your keystrokes. You can just uh, use the virtual keyboard here to type in anything. All right, Google is opening up right now. Use Chrome. Using Chrome. Whatever, uh, what, whatever internet uh, software will open. But right now it's going to. And it's going to open it really slow. I personally don't like to use it much because it is really slow. But Komodo does protect you when you use regular internet. Now to, to exit um, Kiosk mode, so here's YouTube. You can go ahead and uh, once you're here you can go ahead and use it just as a regular internet. But remember you're protected in the Kiosk mode. And to exit just go ahead and click on the green uh, bottom left hand corner here on the green uh, Kiosk button and just click exit and that'll exit uh, this special mode all right and now we're back
Now you can go ahead and view quarantined items. If you've uh, deleted, if you've quarantined a virus, I recommend you delete it. You select it and you delete it. Never leave quarantine viruses there because some of them do get out. All right. For you, you guys that don't know what quarantine is, it's like prison. It's like a virus prison. All right. You always want to delete it from prison or from quarantine, whatever you want to call it. And you can go ahead and just take a look at your task manager if you have any tasks that are uh, pre-programmed. All right, that's pretty much it for Komodo. It's really simple to use. Like I said, what I like about this one is that you can scan objects in here and scan them. That's what I like the most about this. I would use this if I download a lot of stuff off the internet. I would use this. So you can just drag and drop it in here and scan it real quick. All right, so that's pretty much it. I give this uh, program a good review because of the scan, uh, of this the scanning right here. Um, I I don't give it a good review for other features, for example, parental control or any other stuff like that. But I think that comes in the internet security, which I believe is a little bit more. It costs a little more. Let's try to find out how much this program is. Nineteen ninety nine a year is what this program costs, which is not bad. This is one of the cheaper ones I've seen, one of the most affordable antivirus programs I've seen. Uh, I recommend this if you're in a tight budget. Um, $19.99 a year is not bad. That's not bad at all. All right. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more antivirus reviews that will be coming up. I'm going to go ahead and review pretty much all the major uh, antivirus software out there. Check out my other videos. I've actually made some for Avast, McAfee, and Avera. You can go ahead and check those out. Um, thanks for watching. Don't, don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, and have a good rest of your day. If you subscribe, I'll subscribe back to your channel.